Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to compile reactors in uh, Visual Studio. Uh, for such, of course, you need first to have Visual Studio properly installed in your computer. And also we will need to download and check out the reactor source code. Okay, so to download the source code to check out it, you can use Tortoise SVN, which is uh, an amazing tool, an open source amazing tool. Uh, just download the 32 bit version or the 64 bit version depending on your operating system. But you don't have to perform any special installations, so just install as usual. Tortoise is going to ask you for an URL, which is uh, the way to download uh, our repo. Okay, so here you can find it, just copy it. And I have created a folder called a trunk, you can see here. So just right click on it, spin check out, and here place the URL that we have just copied. Just paste it, and well, select the default settings and click OK. This will begin checking out uh, all the source code, all the reactor source code. It will take a while, so well. I'm speeding up this video a little. Um, after a while, you will see that all the files on folders has this green tick, which means that they have been properly downloaded in your computer. It will take a while, so you can eat a pizza meanwhile. Okay, the second step is to download the our Reactors Build environment. The Reactors Build environment uh, has several tools that are needed to uh, are needed by Visual Studio to compile reactors properly. Just click here and you will begin to light in the building environment. Uh, my main suggestion is to call, to install Rosby or environment directly in C please. Okay now let's go to advanced settings because after you have installed Rosby uh, you will need to add the ROSB bin to uh, the environment path. Okay, so in path check that you have ROSB slash bin or add it. Of course, it depends on where you have installed the reactors, the reactors build environment. So check you have it or Visual Studio won't be able to find uh, the Ninja and CMake tools, which is which are part of the ROSB installation. Okay, so after checking you have the path currently placed, click here in OK. Um, well, now it's time, real time, to launch the Visual Studio prompt. Okay, please open the Visual Studio prompt, not the normal command prompt. Okay, so once you have launched the Visual prompt, now just move to the trunk folder that we have just created. Let's move to it and run the configure script which is inside the trunk folder. This will begin creating uh, several um, this will run several several steps. One is creating the output folder where we are going to have our house tools and also the our reactors folder where which will have with all the files compiled. Okay, you can see here how the output folder has been created. Cool. Um, okay, it takes a little. And now we are going to move inside the output folder as soon as this ends. Okay, let's move inside the host tools inside the output folder. So now inside the host tools run Ninja, just Ninja, and that will uh, compile several host tools that are needed for the compilation process and for several other things later. Okay, after running the house tools, now let's move to the reactors folder inside the output folder and just ninja boot cd. 
With Ninja Boot CD, we are going to create a Boot CD ISO which we can burn and install in a normal computer, or you can use the Boot CD ISO to feed a virtual machine as we have made probably uh, with releases. Okay, so okay, the CD is done. Of course, you can use Ninja Live CD if you want to create the Live CD version instead of the Boot CD one. Okay, you can see here in Reactors folder. Uh, let's check our Explorer. We can explore the folders, and you can see that here we have all the beans uh, already compiled. Here is the Boot CD ISO which you can use to feed the virtual machine and well you can explore a little uh, all, all the folders and you can see here well the explorer our explorer over the compiler or our uh, common prompt our console so well and the PDB PDB folder where you have all the PDBs which is one of the main features when compiling with Visual Studio because with PDB you can perform with bug sessions so it's amazing okay so that was all Reactus is probably the easiest operating system to be compiled just three comments okay hope to see you soon and hope you like this video subscribe please thank you